We're here on this Serengeti tour. There's Mackenzie and our driver is... Marina. Marina. Hopefully we get to see Viazzi. And uh, that means potato. Yes, it is you, 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 you'll you. see why when we see Viazzi. Oh, so, can we yes. Thank you. All right, everyone, go ahead and hold on. We're going to get going. Everyone holding on? Yeah. And we are good, Marina. Thank you. Have fun. Bye. Don't leave the babies. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. <laughs> we do have three babies.
actually trying their best to raise that number so that way they don't end up like the dodo birds uh, where they're, you know, gone completely and extinct. Now, they're white in the summertime, but you guys are actually here during the midsummer to winter time period. All right. That's the best time to see them because they're actually starting to grow out their tan coat. That's why you guys can see that they have the line of tan and white. The white is reflecting the sunlight off of them, keeping their bodies cool in those areas. And then the tan part is actually absorbing that sunlight and keeping their bodies warm in those areas. Um, everybody go ahead and hold on. And we're good, Marina. Behind some of our ADAX analysts, we have Batiti. She's actually watching one of them walk around. She's like, hey, what are you doing? So, our giraffes down here are called reticulated giraffes. That just means a net-like or a web-like pattern. Uh, so, if you look at their patterns, uh, you'll notice that it looks like they either have a spider web uh, draped across them, or a fishing net tossed across them, and they were just painted with a brown spot. Um, and it's really cool because the females can grow to be up 14 to 16 feet tall, while the males can be 16 to 18 feet tall. Everyone holding on? Yeah. We're good! It's super awesome. Our tallest giraffe that we have out on the south belt is Bernasco, also known as Bernie. Whoa! He is 17 and a half feet tall. Their tongue is about 18 inches long. Super cool. This habitat to our left is home to our black rhino, Jody. Where is she? Uh, she is actually probably resting in the shade because, <laughs> ready for this? She is in retirement and she is the oldest black rhino in all of North America. Ooh. They can live to be 40 years old and manage hair. She is 33. Wow. wow. All right. She's a grandmother, a mother, and a great grandmother. So yeah. she, she came to Florida for a retirement. She was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought so too. I thought that was white first when I was a kid. I heard white rhino. They're gray. So I was like, oh, okay, that must be white. I was wrong. Are the black rhinos gray also? Yep, all rhinos are gray. Um, believe it or not, actually, black rhino, there was a, there is a supremely dark mud that's almost black in color. So we believe that when the black rhino was discovered, uh, the one that they found was covered in that mud. <laughs> That's only the really young ones though. <laughs>
There's a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hold on. Alright. And we're good. Now, uh, what's super cute is you guys end up taking the train later on today. You guys might end up catching a glimpse of Yazi again. But with the twist, you might actually be having the Sunny. Right now is nap time for him. I've noticed his patterns. I've, uh, I've gotten the chance to work with him a few weekends now. <laughs> but, coming up to our left and right, we do have our third animal in the Great Migration. It is the common zebra, or the plain zebra. Or the grand zebra. Yes, we have three different names. Once again, English settlers who are in the society. <laughs> Look at the right. sides of them. You'll notice this one has on the far left. She'll have 
they yeah. come to check us oh, out. Hi. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> now we are about to have a very graphic interaction, but I do have some interaction rules. All right. And um, there's Phil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, they will touch you, I will say. They don't understand personal bubbles. But um, while you guys are feeding them, I'm going to show you guys how to feed them real quick. What you guys are going to do, you're going to hold your arms up. Here you go. Ah, right. oh, yeah, there you go. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, Dina. Yeah, you guys are all good. Sakari, look over here. Now, their eyes are magnificent eyes. All right, I love giraffe's eyes. Here. They are so unique. They can see in 360 vision. All right, and they can actually see the color of lettuce. <laughs> They see yeah. color, all right? They know my shirt is blue. That's why if you guys see a baby come up, 
They're gonna keep on following me around. Well, you want it? Oh, you yeah. want it? Her, okay. Baby. I'll I'll get uh it's so cute. Oh, hold on. Here, you want it? Don't. Here. Up. There you what? go. You oh, that's a sweet one. So if you guys actually want to try this, this is gonna be the next method. I'm gonna let you remember. Her mother is named Cupid. <laughs> so born February 10th, 1998. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> That's it. 